Now we're ready to attack the more complicated and the more interesting case of a non-inertial reference frame that's rotating. So anytime you have an object that's, that's rotating relative to the fixed stars, uh, that object is going to have an acceleration as it goes in a, so take for example uniform circular motion, uh, as a ball goes around in a circle, it has an acceleration that points toward the center of the circle. So the, uh, the essential element that we're going to need is, is how to consider time derivatives. As we saw with the case of the linear acceleration in concept 9.2, I believe it was, the, we needed to know what the dr dt was and what, what r dot and r double dot were. Similarly here, we're going to need to know what time derivatives are. And for that, we need this equation. There's a great uh, derivation of this in the book. I'm just going to state it for you and then state what it means and then in the next two or three concepts we'll apply it and uh, give examples that will familiarize yourself with, familiarize you with it. So it is that uh, dqdt as measured, well let's first consider the coordinate system here. So x naught and y naught is um, an inertial frame. S naught. And then there would be a z coming out of the board. X cross into x cross x naught crossed into y naught equals z naught. Then um, this is going to be a frame x y z. It's a non-inertial. That is rotating with angular velocity omega. So this angular velocity is a vector and its direction is given by putting the heel of your hand at the center of the, the, the center of rotation and then curling your fingers in the direction of rotation and then your thumb gives the direction of the angular velocity. So the direction of omega given by placing the heel in this part here of the right hand at the axis. Then the fingers of the uh, and curling the fingers in the direction of rotation and then the direction of omega is given by the outstretched thumb. So for example, if we have uh, this piece of paper that's rotating in this direction, then I'm going to put my heel of my hand at the center, the axis of rotation, curl my fingers in the direction of rotation, and my thumb will give the direction of the angular velocity vector. All right, that uh, takes care of that part. Q is a, just a general arbitrary vector. And dq by dt at s naught
this is the rate of change of some general, some arbitrary vector q as seen in the inertial frame. And dq dt s is the rate of change of q as seen in the non-inertial frame s. <laughs> and the the difference between those two is omega cross q. It's a curious result that you cross that angular velocity vector of the non-inertial rotating frame with the vector that you're interested in the time derivative of. Notice that the units work out for this equation. That's comforting. Omega has units of um, inverse seconds the radians per second or inverse seconds. And so you have whatever units Q is in divided by seconds. Here the same thing. Units of Q divided by time measured in seconds. So in the next couple of concepts we'll apply this. <laughs>